Hey guys, what's up? It's Keeps here, and today we're back with another video. We're here with a Blackburn Rovers episode. This will be episode 3 of the new series, and we're at the 29th of October, and we're doing okay. Um, reason to say we're doing okay is I hope to be doing better at this point. As you can see, we are sitting at 6th in the table, 7 wins from 14, with 3 draws and 4 losses. So not the best, but not the worst as well. Uh, the key thing to look at is that goal difference. If we look at our seven wins here, you know, uh, it's Millwall, Cardiff, you know, Cardiff just come down from the Premier League and, you know, beating them 5-0, that was a good one. And, you know, got a couple of good wins there. As for the draws, all the way from home, which isn't too bad, but it's the losses that are kind of troubling and it's mainly because of the recent form. We just haven't quite been at it as much as we'd like to. So, you know, we'll need to look at addressing that. And we've been kind of considering some tactical changes. So this is the two tactics we've been running. We've been running the defensive one just because there was a couple of times that we weren't solid and closing out games. A couple of our draws came from late late equalizers, so we really wanted to, you know, build on the strength of midfield and strength up front we've had and build on the strength of defence. So we did make this tactic. It is just a direct counter attack. Nice two four, f two banks of four, two up front, and it's been working not too bad. But the main tactic is for now is still a four two three one. But I'd expect by the time episode four comes out next week, there will be another tactic as our main tactic, just because you know as as good as it has p performed at home, away from home, I think we've only had one or two wins, and uh, we've really some of the games we've struggled to you know really show a lot of dominance. And that's the opposite of really what I'm wanting to do. So if we go to the schedule, we'll show you. So as you can see, you know, th th that game, th that run at the start was excellent. And then even September time, you know, really good games. Caribou Cup done excellently. Put out Fulham and put out Burnley, especially after losing to Fulham previously. Uh, you know, really well all the way through up until Nottingham Forest. And then it's just started to go downhill from there. You know, that 3 1 win over QPR, I wouldn't have even said was deserved. Um, and the the four games following have not been great. You know, two away games, two draws, can't really complain with that after losing at home to Huddersfield. Um, you know, again, you know, we, we talk about closing those games out. Uh, not in Forest wasn't, but uh, Carl and Grant, 92nd minute winner, um, especially when we had went down to 10 men so early on that was a real uh, you know kick to us and it was really disappointing you know again scoring early a red card as well in that one but you know scoring early holding off and then quite late on again 68 minutes and then pressing nil nil. but then the Everton game you know we did hold off really well we played with a 4-4-2 we did not make any substitutions, mainly because we had a lot of fitness concerns with how much games we'd played in October. And we were really looking to just try and get it out with the starting 11 in their defensive tactic. And we did get there. Uh, if we look at the stats, you know, we did have a lot of possession, but they just had so much more chances and we had, they, they completely nullified our attacking options. And, you know, that was, you know, we've already played the Premier League team in Burnley. We beat them 1-0. That's really a step up, or two steps up playing Everton. You know, especially in FM this year, they've got a lot of top talents. You know, Charleston, Del uh, Delphi, Sigurdsson. You know, th th these players can really hurt teams like Blackburn, in FM, and they did do that for us. There is a couple of things I want to go over. Uh, as you can see, this game was won on penalties, and there's one man to thank for that, and it is Wes Fodringham. You know, since he's came in, um, I think, especially being a Celtic fan, you know, it was very questionable my decision to do that. But you know, he's really proved himself as uh, being the right man for the job so far. Uh, conceded thirteen and fourteen, not great, but as I say, there is some defensive issues there that we've certainly seen, and uh, you know, we really need to get there. But you know, clean sheet seven, so he's he's only conceded in half of his games, but he has conceded thirteen goals in those. And 15 goals overall. Tennis, you know, the way you need to look at it is he's conceded in eight games. You know, he's not conceding ten. And uh, you know, for me, that's 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 pretty good. 
I am not I'm not gonna get annoyed with that, especially in the championship. The championship's a really difficult league, which is I think a lot what puts a lot of people off playing in it in FM is because of how difficult the lower leagues of England really are, uh, in real life and in football manager to navigate with, you know, maybe not the most dominant teams. So, as I say, the tactic will change uh, by the time the next video comes out. You know, I've not, I've not been overly pleased with it. I feel like I don't have the right players to go and play this sort of football. So I think I'm going to have to play a little bit more basic, a little, go back to, you know, my more a basic control possession. Um, you know, like trying to play the opposition and try and nullify them but strength give ourselves the platform to you know go on and really be a force so when we look at the games coming up we do have some difficult games we've got Sheffield we've got Leeds Brentford Stoke you know Barnsley in the middle there and they're about the only ones that you can think oh it's not going to be bad you know Sheffield Wednesday sitting in 12th just now but they aren't 12th quality you know Leeds up in third Brentford down in 8th, Stoke in 4th, you know, this is teams around our area that we really need to win these games, and coming out of this run of form, it may be difficult, but, you know, we have to do it. Looking on into December, you know, again, really strong teams, you know, surprising to see Derby where they are, but really strong teams to play in December and January, and we're really going to have to try and navigate those, you know, three months pretty well. And these are the three months that will be played before uh, the next episode. So we've played, you know, all through August, September and October. And um, so I'm going to try and do it as a you can have three months blocks. So we'll play through January and that'll be episode three. And then we'll play through to March uh, and then episode four. Episode five will be the summary of the season and possibly playoffs if we get there. Hopefully we'll be looking for automatic promotion though, if we can sort out this run of form that we've just had. Looking at transfers again, you know, what we have is uh, a slight problem. The overall balance is 8 million. We are currently losing on the wage budget and we have zero transfer budget. And there's no other reason for that apart from we brought in a couple of players that was maybe just a step too far for what we could afford. You know, looking at transfer centre. You know, we brought in West Fordham for seven hundred k, but you know we had to allocate a lot of wages into some of our loan deals, and it's not been easy. Uh, we've offered a couple of new contracts. Dak wanted a new contract. Holby wanted a new com contract, and they wanted a, a sizable pay increase as well. Uh, so as well as paying, having to pay Hurst, Gorgas, and Luricci. It's it's not been easy, but uh, we'll get there in the end. Um, a couple of things I just want to note is we've had a, a couple of injuries, as you can see. Mulgrew was forced to come into the team for a couple of games, and he played very well. You know, as you can see, he got a goal in the league. But uh, as I did say I, I do like Mulgrew, but I didn't think he was going to be coming in. Well, he did, but sadly he's injured and he'll be out for three six weeks, uh, and that he got injured a little while ago. I think it was two months he's out for. Rothwell, you know, really good player for us. Uh, certainly performed well in his four appearances. Uh, you know, at a 6.58 average rate, and I, d I think doesn't tell all of that, especially Carraway Cup. You know, he, he was pretty good. Uh, you know, losing him for a couple of months isn't great. And then, you know, losing Evans as well. He, he's a good sturdy midfielder. And, you know, losing him for that is not easy. He hasn't featured as yet, but... You know, it's all about the depth, especially in the championship, and we need that, and we've just not got it just now. Uh, key players so far have been Ryan Niam, he's been excellent. Uh, Armstrong, Dak, Holtby, uh, probably Holtby especially, more than everyone, has uh, been really good. But, you know, I'm looking for ways to uh, try and change it up, try and make sure that I can get the best out of this team. And the best out of my, my top players, and really getting a tune out of the whole, whole squad coming together. And I feel like a 4 2 3 one isn't going to be able to do that for me as much as it kind of keeps everyone in their strongest positions. So I may look to change it up and go with maybe a narrow formation, maybe a 4 3 one 2 4 one 2 one 2 sort of formation. But only time will tell. I'll probably work on that, you know, over the next month or two, try and ease that from that uh, one in. Just because, you know, this next month is going to be difficult. 
changing tactic now won't be easy, but you know, trial by fire. Um, hopefully that the team can just adjust to it, and you know, it really provide a a good back and for us to go forward and really take these next three months by storm really pick up the wins and get ourselves into those automatic promotion places come Christmas so as I've said guys that's what to look forward to, just a quick overview of the competitions, we are knocked out of the Carabao Cup just now, we were knocked out in the fourth round by Everton so we went beyond our board expectations so we're pretty happy with that, the FA Cup we enter in the third round in January so we won't know about that and in the league, we are sitting just inside the pr- pr- playoff places, but with a lot of football still at played. So, guys, I've been Keebs. It's been great to have you again, and I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell. Cheers.